Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is the 19th video of a playlist for cloning on the Snip Plus website using Mernstack. In this video, we are going to make the home page and maybe the other page. And also, it's sure I already opened up my Visual Studio code along with the terminal that already run the client, admin, and the API server. But let me flash back and then see in here. If we inspect it, we we know that our our home text is in here. So the sidebar is over overlapping the home. And I think there is because instead of this app.js here, we are not wrap this div with another div and that div is going to be so div with a class name equal to wait a second div is equal to some if functions here so if active menu and then if it if it is active menu it will have background is main background for the main is going to be is a screen for the main for the main hake is going to be the screen hake and if it's empty or if the device width is empty it will have margin left equal to seven to seven seventy two and then for the width it's going to be full this also have to be a diff Wait a second, after this and if, the active menu is not, so it will have background, main background, for the width is full, for the main, for the main hack is the screen, and for the flex is 2. Let's save, and also I will enter and put, and put our div with the roots instead of here. Let's save it and see in here. And now we get our home right here, right here beside of the sidebar. That means we can go and continue making the home page. You can go to the home.js page, or maybe you can just control and then click this home. It will automatically redirect us to the home.js file. And instead of here, as usually, I'm just going to replace it with some React Fragment here. And then home, it will have, for this home, we will have cons is current color. And that current color is come from the use context or the use state context. So use state context is, is come from the context provider. And then we'll have the months the months is equal to use memo and here we are going to have some function or arrow array for the first one is going to be january february we will have march here march and then april and then May, and then June, and then July, and then August, and then September, it's supposed to be comma, and then October, and then November, and the second one is going to be December. After this, we are going to have some empty array, and just like this. Below here, we are going to have the user stats. We are going to make a new state here. So use state, first we have to import it, and then use the snippet here. For the, for the first one, or the first state is going to be user states. And then for the default value is going to be zero. And below here we are going to make others, or maybe I will just use the snippet again. 
the second one is going to be movie stats same it will be just mtra and then we'll have some u state u state snippet and this is going to be list state for the default value is going to be the empty array after we make this state you know what to do it is time to make the use effect function use effect and then we will have a, a function and that function and instead of here we will have a function the first one is going to be get stats or get user stats get user stats is equal to async and then it's going to be some arrow function for this one we are going to have a try and get block error is going to be here for the try is going to be cons press dot equal to await then axios dot get from the users from the slash users slash tights and remember for this axios that we already that we already install it let's see in the package.json instead of the admin here we already in, we already install it in here and what we are going to do is just going to copy the proxy from the package from the client package.json i'm going to copy the proxy here copy and then paste it here save and let's and make sure you have you have activate the dangerously disable host check for the dot env instead of the admin because sometimes if you are not setting it your your getting or your fetching request is just going to be blocked after we make or after we import the proxy we will have the headers the headers is equal to i will go to the home again instead of the client here i'm going to copy the token and pass it here for now we are just going to use the static token but later we are going to use the token that the admin user have after we pass the headers we will have the cons stat wait a second stat is equal to Start list is equal to rest dot data dot sort and then function is equal to is going to retrieve a and b and then we'll we will return the a dot and then the id minus or test and here b dot underline id after that we are going to map over the data start list start list dot map and then we are going to have the item is equal to some array function wait a second nope it is not going to be array function it will be set user stats and then it will have previous and it's going to be some arrow function with an array and then we have dot 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 brief so this means it will get the rest brief and then we will have the name is equal to month and then the item dot underline id minus one comma new user new user is equal to item dot total let's save it and also in here i'm going to give it some some semicolon and if it's error it will give us it will just console log the error let's see if i save it and go to the home page go to the home page here we got use memo and axios is not found so we are going to copy the use memo here I mean we will import the use memo and then we are going to import the axios so import 
Axios. This is going to be Axios from Axios without without curly brace. Save. Now let's go back to the website here. Let's see if we got some error. We got 12 error here. Use memo is not defined. Let's refresh it. So then we can see our console log clearly. Here we didn't get any error. But if we check to the use effect, oh yeah. We didn't already call the get user stats. So I'm going to copy and then paste it below here. And for the params, it's going to be the month. Months. Save and then let's see in the website that we got some error. If I inspect it, we got 4.404. That means it is not find it or not define so let's go to our users roots here here we already created the stats hmm let me see we get our users last stats for the method is get or maybe we have to we have to restart the server of the admin let me see which one is the admin here it is the admin so i'm going to control c and then yarn start again to run or restarting my server just need to wait here react script start wait until the server development is running and then it will it will open up automatically in the chrome or in your in your web browsing engine as you can see here we get our admin tab open it automatically if i go to here i will inspect it first so then i can see the network that has that have been recorded go to the network i will scale it scale this up a little bit maybe something like this and then wait until the loading of the website is done. And finally here we got our got our website. We got our website opening. Open it. But let's console lock it again so then we can see the full version or or the full network of this website. But now we didn't get any error. And here we get the stats. We get the total is 6 and the ID is 9. That means our stats are getting or retrieving the data is working. Now let's go to the return here. Instead of the React fragment, I will make a new div with a class name equal to margin top is 24 and then instead of here we will have div with a class name equal to for the flex for the display direction for the display is going to be flex and for the flex warp is going to be wrap and but if it's lg it will have flex is no wrap and then justify center Instead of this div, we will have a div with a class name equal to background is white and it will have rounded is equal to wait a second for the round dot for the for the rounded is going to be XL and then for the width is full and if it's LG it will have width equal to 80 for the padding is 8, for the padding top is 9, for the margin is 3, and it will have, um, and just like that, I will, ju I will just close the div, and instead of this div, we will have another div with a class name equal to, wait a second, the class name 
is equal to flex for the display the justify content is going to be between and for the item align is going to be center instead of here we will have a div and for the div we will have a wait a second and inside inside of this div we will have a p tag with a class name equal to uh one volt and then text gray is 400 for this is going to be the user and then below of it we'll have a p tag with a class name equal to text is 2xl and then for the data is going to be users dot dot total let's save it and see how it looks in a website we get our user but not getting the data um if i inspect and then go to the stats it have the zero and then the total id hmm maybe it's here i should add the zero not it's not like that or how about creating a new roots instead of this users.js so below of this get specific user or maybe below of this get user stats we will have the get count user and this get count user is going to have um roots here for the router is going to be get and then slash count and then you have you need the token to access this function or this roots and also it will retrieve or will have the request and the result this is going to be cons wait a second instead of here we will have the try and catch block try and catch block here if the error if there is some error here we will just going to result and then status is 500 and we are going to pass the error instead of the json data after that instead of this try catch or in the try block we will have the count equal to await user dot count documents so it will give us the count of all documents that we have inside of the schema and after it will after this successful it will return 200 200 success codes and the json cloud of the array i mean of the count save and then let's go back to home.jsx in here this get user stats we are going to use it for making the charts that we are that immediately we are going to create it i'm going to make in here new one cons get user count is going to be equal to some async function and also it will be some arrow function here but here in the users you have to be the admin to access this so if request.user dot is admin is it is going to have the try and catch block and for the cats or the error is going to be it will return results with a status or error code is 403 or for evidence oops this is supposed to be if i mean this is supposed to be else and not cats because this was an if an if else statement not that not a try and catch block and i will pass the message is going to be you are not allowed to do this save and I'm, I'm going to give semicolon is here go back to the admin i'm going to copy the try i mean i will just copy this result or getting the data from the api code and then i'm going to make a new try and catch block by myself for the cats 
is going to console that log the error and then for the try we are going to have results is axios user slash count and then here maybe i will make a new state here instead of a uh, user stats maybe i will just make it for the for the chart one or maybe i will delete this make a new one here called new state is going to be the snippet we are going to use the snippet and then user count for the default is going to be zero this is supposed to be user count below up here we are going to have use state snippet and then we are going to have the list count is also zero why i always why i always writing it as a list count and then here i'm going to have use state snippet and then user count oops not user count this is supposed to be movie count where the default is going to be zero save and scroll down here after we got the result of the of the user count we are going to set set user count is going to be result dot data and then after after this one just like this and for the user stats let me see first in the website how it looks or how the data came so i will see in a network here i will wait for the count wait a second oh yeah we are not we are not already calling it calling the function yet so i'm going to copy the get user count and then call it in here get user count let's save and then go back to the website here refresh from the console if we get some error we got 500 internal server error called not proxy and also called not proxy let me see in the terminal here what is what uh, what is the user we get i mean what is the error we get so basically we got direct user is admin or not it's same like the others right cannot read property of undefined is admin hmm wait a second oh yeah and here you have to add verify and then save you can use the is admin if you are not using the verify let's refresh and then inspect it one more time here we still got 401 unauthorized you are not authenticated hum wait a second okay so the problem is just in here we forgot the s let's save it and go back to the website here refresh i will inspect it to see what data we get and in here we get the count we got six user in the database that is because we have five user that we add register and one admin that means we can use our user account in user count in here i will copy and then change this user stats total to the user count let's save it and go here we get the six user in the database and also up here we got this headers this header it's supposed to be headers let's save and then maybe we are wrong in here let me see let me see async okay after we make the user count in here we are going to make the chart maybe so i'm going to make the chart here after two div after this 
I will make or maybe we are we are going to make the list count and the movie count first it's going to have div the class name is equal to flex and an m3 for the flex direction is going to be wrap for the justify content for the justify content is going to be center for the gap is one for the items is center and now instead of here i'm going to make a new div with a class name equal to background white for the height is 44 for the and if it's md if the if the if the device width is md it will have width equal to 456 for the padding is 4 for the padding top is 9 hey wait a second wait the second for the padding top is 9 wait did i just make a wrong one here oh no and here we are we are in the right direction so after padding top is 9 we will have rounded is equal to, to equal to 2xl and then instead of here we will have a button a button here button wait a second we don't need a button we just need a p tag a p tag with a class name equal to equal to mt3 and then instead of here we will have a span with a class name equal to text lg and then font is semi bold and for this one it's going to be wait a second and for the text it's going to be um here we get the list count so list count and then below i mean outside of this p we are going to have another p with a class name equal to text is xs for the text color is going to be gray and then 400 for the margin top is one and then here we are going to put list after that we are going to copy we are going to copy this one here this div not the user we are going to copy the list here i'm going to copy and then paste one and then duplicate it one more time the second one is going to be movie count and this will be movie save and now let's see first how it looks we got the list and the movie now let's make the users or i mean the roots for both of for both of the roots for both of the item so the first one is going to be the list the second one is going to be um which one it will be the movie i'm going to copy the count from the user copy and then paste it below below the get all in here um, i will just i will just change this user to movie save this supposed to be weights but this supposed to be a list and here i'm going to change the movie to list save and then we are going to go to the movie and then make a new and then pass it here also and change it to movie wait a second it is supposed to be a list now let's save it and go to the home instead of the admin i'm going to copy this get user account here copy and then duplicate it two more times 
the second one is going to be list or maybe movie i think it will be the list first this is supposed to be a list and then the second one here oops it's supposed to be let me see get user count get list get list count and then we'll have the get movie count this is supposed to be movie and then save wait set movie count is not available oh and here we are setting the m is we are setting the m with a lower case m let's save and now let's see how it looks we got one list and two movie that is looking good after we make the list user and movie count we are going to make the chart in here so i'm going to import chart for the data is going to be user stats for the title is going to be user analytic analytic sorry analytics and then for the grid and then it will be grid and the data key is equal to new user let's not save it for now it's supposed to be data key and instead of this component we are going to make a new component called chart.jsx and in the home.jsx here i'm going to control space and then it should be imported oh yeah i have to import it or export it instead of this index.jsx i'm going to make the second one is going to be chart i will have to first so then it have the basic structure of the react of the react basic file save save and also save let's see in the website if we get some error or not we got chart is not undefined so we have to import it inside of this home.jsx import chart from dot dot slash components and then and then just from the components save and now let's see did we get some error here we got context provider why did i even put a comma in there it's supposed to be a semicolon now we get the chart for the chart is going to be um Wait a second instead of here we are going to to replace this div with a div that have class wait a second we are going to replace that div with a div that have class name equal to chart equal to chart or maybe not chart chart and then instead of here we will have an h3 with a class name of chart title whoops it's supposed to be a name and then card title for the title it's going to be title wait a second after we put the title in here we are going to have a responsive container it's supposed to give us some suggestion to import it but let me see here we got all of this but we didn't get the responsive container what if we click one of this nope i will just going to import all of this in first all of the component that we need the first one is going to be a line chart the second one is going to be the line and then x axis then car tcian grid and then we got tool tip and then we got responsive container container from the package that we have it's going to be the recharge save 
and then for the responsive container it's going to have width equal to 10 percent for the aspect aspect is going to be 4 slash 1 instead of here we will have a line chart line chart with a data the data is come from the data so we have to retrieve the data also in here we need the data first we need the title data data key and then create save it and let's go back to here in the line chart we have the x-axis x-axis is going to have it's not going to be z it's x-axis and then data key is equal to name for the stroke or the color of the stroke is going to be 555 five, five. and then 0 bd this is also going to be a self-closing tag after the x-axis we have the line not link it's going to be a line and that also going to be the self-closing tag with a type is equal to monoton and then data key is equal to data key for the stroke color is going to be it's supposed to be stroke it's going to be the same like in here I'm going to copy it and then go here pass it below it we'll have the tool tip tool tip then here get some if if it is great it will have the Cartesian grids here Cartesian grid for the stroke is going to be A0 DF DF and for the stroke test array is going to be 5 and then 5 let's save it now let's see how it looks in a website here we got just the September because we just created the user in uh, September because this month is, uh, is September so if you want to make it so if you want to make it like for example there is three user in January and then you will have four user in September and then so on you can edit it yourself instead of the MongoDB database and I think that's it for this video I hope you will enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so then you know when I update this series thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.